Hello and welcome back to Gurukul Online Learning Network. In previous lesson, we learned uh, to play the notes in different bow directions. We have to do that practice really slowly to achieve the clarity as I always say. In today's lesson, we will use our pinky or the fourth finger in action. So, what we have to do? We play sa, we have our open string sa and we have our open string pa. So, we won't use the pa string as open. So, we will use our fourth finger to play the pa today. Let me show you how. So, uh, now we will do one bow uh, technique, one bow and one uh, note technique. Uh, then we will expand it to one bow and two note technique uh, like that. So, you see? So, this is our ma. Now, you, ha you might have a question in your head that where should I place my fourth finger? And it's rather a distance. So, this is your Shuddhama. And if you move your finger a little, uh, your ring finger a little bit, little bit that's your Tivrama. And then is your Pa. So, there is a one note gap. So, uh, the problem uh, how to shift this fourth finger because this is our uh, the weakest finger of our hand so when we try to achieve that pa we have to move our thumb like this this is your violin your hand will be like this and it will move like that when we will uh, learn how to play mir and gamaks we have to use this technique when you will shift your hand your thumb should also like your thumb should also move don't rest it like this so you won't be able to achieve a distance in your fingerboard so uh, keep your hands very free and see i moved it and do it very slowly because your uh, fourth finger is very weak you won't get this much clarity you will like this type of sound so you have to practice practice and make use of this fourth finger as usual dha coming back You can take uh, the reference of your ma, but your ma have to be in tune. And please check your uh, tuning of your violin before playing anything on your violin. So you won't miss the spots. So coming back. the path with our fourth finger now you will have to do a practice if you have a four string violin so you can practice from pa your last string and if you have a five string violin so it will be your sa your last string so i'm showing it uh, for the five string and the fourth string both so for the five string will come back from here move
come back from this string uh, it might be easy for you to play in this string because it's very close you have to practice in these strings the lower strings you might face problems so we will come back from here So this was our lesson. You have to be very uh, gentle with your finger as well. So practice this as many as uh, time possible. Don't try to uh, go very in a speed. Uh, try this very slowly as I say. So I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.